Hey guys, I wanted to do a video on how I use the Rust-Oleum Cabinet Transformation to paint my cabinet. I used it for both my bathrooms and my laundry room and I wanted to start on my kitchen. So this is how my kitchen looks. This process is really easy but it is very time consuming. I bought this kit at Home Depot. You buy the kit and then you ask the worker for to put the paint on it. So here's, I used the espresso color. The very first thing I'm going to do is clean all of my cabinets and cabinet doors with, with this soap and this cleaner. I bought it from the Dollar Tree. It's really good for taking off any grease, oils, anything. I really like it and it makes it a lot easier to clean them. Once they are cleaned with the soap, I will move on to the first step of the kit, which is the deglosser. It, the kit comes with some sponges and the step one. So this is the step that you use instead of sanding. There's no sanding required. All you do is use this and it'll take off all of the shine on the cabinets. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so the first thing I did was take off all the doors from my cabinets. I'm starting off with the top, that way when I climb up there, I'm not interrupting anything on the bottom. I put all of the doors here. These are the ones that need to be washed and clean. Um, on my sink, um, spraying some of this, spraying some, and then with soap and water, I'm just scrubbing them. And you could see the, the oil actually like falling off. So I feel like they're kind of getting cleaned really well. I have to do it a couple times because, for example, these right here, these are the ones that were on top of my stove and well oil falls on there a lot so I'm going ahead and I'm just scrubbing scrubbing multiple times until I feel like they're really clean and like on the little edges it's very hard to get that so I'm just going ahead and going with an old toothbrush I scrub my drawers really good with the toothbrush with the sponge just cleaning everything off once you have done that damp a uh, towel or a cloth and dry it off. Just go ahead and dry it off really good. Go ahead and rinse the cloth several times and clean them really good. On the video it suggests that you go ahead and use a, a dry cloth and dry them right away but what I'm gonna do is I'm doing front and back and then I'm going at, going ahead and using the deglosser step one right away. That way I dry it off I clean it off with the damp cloth, dry it off, and then wait an hour for them to dry completely in order to start painting. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with those drawers and all of these over here. It's been about three hours since I last spoke to you when I told you I was going to start cleaning my doors. So I'm done cleaning my doors. It was very time consuming simply because my doors personally had a lot, a lot of oil on them. I moved into this house less than a year ago. I had cleaned them, but not thoroughly. So when I went ahead and I cleaned them, a lot of oil was coming out. So I went ahead and I cleaned it extra hard, making sure that everything was clean and ready to get painted. So now what I've done is in my living room, I've set up cups and anything that I found around my house to go ahead and lay my wood on. In the directions, it tells you to place any doors facing down so that you can start with the back first and to make sure it's elevated so that I won't be touching the ground. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and place all my doors. I went ahead and laid down all my doors. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get my paint. This is the paint that comes in the kit. It actually comes with two of these small cans. And just to give you an idea, I went ahead and I painted both my 
bathrooms and a little cabinet that's in my laundry room and I'm still not done with the very first one. I have about this much left so I'm going to go ahead and finish this one first and then go ahead and open the new one. What was not included in the kit was a brush so go ahead and make sure you buy a good quality brush. The one that I have been using is the 2 inch Worcester Pro. I have been using it for every step. I just make sure I wash her really good, make sure her all the bristles are really clean and that they are not stiff. Make sure you stir your paint very well before you start. So the way the instructions tell us to paint is to start with the back of your door and start with the edges. Once you have painted all of the edges and corners, go ahead and start the inside of the drawer. That's of course if your door is just like mine where it has two steps or it's divided into two. Of course if you have a solid door, you just go ahead and start painting. Make sure that you are painting with the grid of the wood, so don't go against it. Make sure you go down. Once you are done with the inside, go ahead and do the, the, the surrounding of the door along with the, this part of the door. I added one coat on the doors and I have to wait three hours before adding a second coat. So this is what the first coat looks like. It obviously needs a second coat. So while I wait for the three hours to pass, I'm going to go ahead and clean and do step one on the cabinet frame. I'm completely done with the second step, which was the paint. I did two layers on both the cabinets, cabinet frames, and the doors. I have not yet started the bottom. I'm doing the top first. The third step is to add the decorative glaze. This step is optional, but I'm just using it because I felt like it looked a little purple in with the lighting in my house without it. It comes with two of the tins. What you do is you, you add the glaze onto your frames and cabinet doors just once. And then you take some of this cloth, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's added, it's included in the kit. You get two of them and you simply just wipe off what you added. Once you have wiped it off, go ahead and let it sit for eight hours before adding the final step. I have been using the same brush for every single step and I wanted to show you this is how I've been washing it just to make sure that I've been washing it good I run it in hot water just kind of spread it out and the decorative glaze is really easy to come off you just have to it's hard to do it with one hand but you just have to clean it and for the what, for the paint, what I did was use an old toothbrush and just brush out the paint. Of course, I don't really need it for this one because it's kind of like an oil consistency and it just comes off. After that, I just let it air dry and if I'm ready to paint before it's, before it's actually completely dry, all I do is I spin it with both hands and then just just kind of tap the, the excess water off. That's all I did to, to clean my brush and that, this is the only brush I've used for every step. I the decorative glaze has dried for more than eight hours on both the cabinet doors and the cabinet frame. So the next step is to add the protective top coat step number four onto the doors and the cabinet frames. 
So what you do first is, like every other step, you start with the back of the doors. I feel like this step is the hardest because you have to be very careful that you spread out the, the top coat very well. So if you could see white, a thick white coat, that means you haven't spread it out very well. It will dry out and you'll be able to see it. So you have to be extra careful on all of the edges and make sure that there's no thick coat on it. Just go ahead and spread it out real good before letting it dry because it will dry and you will have a white line on there. I mean, you could see it, you know it's there, it's white, a little white, but it's not thick. It's, it's a thin coat and it dries very fast. You could tell where you haven't added it really well. For example, here, you could still see the, the dry wood. So go ahead and add it. So you go ahead and add it to to the back of the cabinet doors and let it dry for at least two hours before flipping it. Once you paint the front of the doors, you need to let it rest for 12 hours. Don't touch them, don't go back and add them more. Just leave it as is. So you see, this is what I'm talking about. See that thick line, white line? That will dry and it will be thick white so you have to spread it out really good that's all you do just go ahead and brush and work fast because this thing dries very fast I completed my kitchen this is how it looks everything's dried I really like it so far I decided that I'm going to paint the door for my pantry since it was white and everything's brown. I'm going to paint it with the same paint since I have leftover and I'm going to paint the baseboards around the door. Only the ones around the door. So that's what I'm doing next. have my door set up. I took off the doorknob and I'm about to clean it and start the whole process for it. This is the final look of my kitchen transformation. I have installed all of the hardware. I had originally bought some from Home Depot. I had I had paid over a hundred dollars for the ones in my kitchen and in my bathrooms. But then I saw that Amazon had Amazon had these for half the price, so I returned the ones in at Home Depot and I ordered them from Amazon. So I do suggest checking them out at Amazon. So this, this is how my cabinets look. I absolutely love the way they turned out. The light reflecting on top of my cabinets, it's actually foil. I added foil to the top so that it could be easier to clean and the light reflects on the foil. I love the way they look. They look very nice from both the inside and the outside. I feel like you can't really tell that it was a DIY project. If you do everything correctly, follow the instructions you will have beautiful cabinets. I also painted my pantry door and changed my doorknob just so that it could all match and look the same. This is the cabinet in my laundry room. This is one of my bathrooms and here is my second bathroom, my master bathroom. I had enough to paint my kitchen, two bathrooms and my laundry room with just that one kit. So I paid about 150, that's including the paint and all the doorknobs to remodel my kitchen, bathrooms, and even the laundry room. I absolutely love the way it turned out. It is definitely worth the investment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Rustoleum transformation. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching.